agriculture and what it's becoming, GMO vaccine-like particles. Can you imagine the food you eat being designed to protect you from diseases? Kind of like vaccines. How many of you have ever worried about food, safety, or getting sick from what you eat? Think about it. What if the food you eat every day could help prevent illnesses like the flu or even more serious diseases? Hi, my name is Hector Meza, and I'm here to talk about some controversial advancements in agriculture, especially the development of GMO vaccine-like particles. Today, I'll cover what GMOs are, how vaccine-like particles work in crops, the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing tool, the natural role of food in health, Bill Gates' involvement in farming, and the potential benefits and significant concerns associated with the technology. GMOs are genetically modified organisms, are organisms whose DNA have been changed using genetic engineering. This is done to give them certain traits, like the pest resistance or better nutrition according to the FDA. GMOs have been used in agriculture to improve crops, yield, and resistance to pests. However, many of us wonder if tampering with nature is in, in this way is really necessary for or safe. Scientists can make plants produce vaccine-like particles by adding genes that create specific antigens. These antigens can make our immune system respond without making us sick, just like traditional vaccines. The Journal of Biotechnology explains how these antigens work similarly to traditional vaccines. But do we really need our food to act like medicine? Shouldn't our food just nourish us naturally without added genetic modification? CRISPR-Cas9 is an amazing gene editing tool that lets scientists change DNA very precisely. It was developed by Dr. Jennifer Dogna and Dr. Emmanuel Charpentier. This tool can be used to create crops with vaccine-like properties more quickly and accurately than older methods. Nature Biotechnology highlights Chris, CRISPR-Cas9 role in making precise changes to plant DNA. While this technology is impressive, it also raises serious ethical and safety concerns about modifying the very essence of our food. For a long time, food has been really important for keeping us healthy. Hippocrates, the father of medicine, said, let's let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Foods in their natural state have essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that help us stay healthy. For example, citrus fruits have a lot of vitamin C, which help our immune system, and leafy greens are full of fiber, which is good for digestion. Harvard Health discusses how food has significantly been used to maintain health and prevent diseases. These benefits come from natural, unmodified foods the way nature intended. Bill Gates, co-founder of Microsoft, has become one of the biggest private owners of farmland in the U.S. By early 2021, he owned about 442,000 acres of farmland different state, in different states. His land holdings have increased significantly in the last 10 years, showing his interest in sustainable farming and food production. Gates wants to use his investments to promote sustainable farming and new technologies like CRISPR-Cas9 to increase crop yields and food security. The Land Report details Gates's land holdings and his involvement in agriculture. While his intentions may seem good, we must question the push forward for more GMOs and high-tech solutions over natural farming practices. These new technologies in agriculture could reduce the need for traditional vaccines, improve food security by protecting crops from disease, and lower health care costs. However, the long-term health effects, environmental impact, and the ethical issues of eating GMO foods with vaccine-like particles are significant concerns. The World Health Organization outlines potential benefits, but the Food and Agriculture Organization highlights the risks. Shouldn't we prioritize natural and organic farming methods instead of relying on potentially risky genetic modifications? 
Today, I talked about the GMOs and how vaccine-like particles are made in crops. The CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing tool, the natural role of food in health, Bill Gates' in involvement in agriculture, and the benefits and significant concerns of this technology. These investments in agricultural biotechnology might change how we think about food and health, but we need to be very cautious. The nature of farming should focus on natural methods that respect integrity of our food and environment. Let's remember that sometimes the best solution are the simplest and most natural ones. Thank you for listening.